France, 1918, World War I. The first American troops to land in France and to fight in France were the Marines. They were veterans who had seen service all over the world. China, Cuba, Santo Domingo, Mexico, and the Philippine Islands. This is a company of those Marines, Company L, 3rd Battalion, 5th Regiment, returning from the front. What outfit is this, buddy? What outfit is it? This is the 101 Ranch, and I'm Pawnee Bill. All right, wise guy, what outfit? Company L, 5th Marines. Thanks. Hey, that's us. I know it. Who's your commanding officer? Flag. Who? Captain Flag. Captain Flag. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, but isn't that the outfit yeah. for us, Captain Flag. We're not doing it until tomorrow, and I am not joining Flag's outfit until I have to. We got lost, see? Come on. Flag. Miss your man and feed him. Sorry, 
Sergeant. Ça ne te regarde pas. Ça ne te regarde pas. Non, 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 tu peux pas aller là-haut. Je te dis, tu ne peux pas monter là-haut maintenant. Mais non, tu ne peux pas monter là-haut maintenant. Occupe-toi des clients. Oh là là là, les enfants. Hey, ciao, May. How about a little song? Vous voudriez que je chante? Enchanté, Charmé. Oui, Marie, si tu fais ça pour moi, oui, oui, Marie, je ferai ceci pour toi. J'adore tes yeux, ils me rendent très tendre. Tu me rends folle. Tu te rends Ne peux pas parler comme les autres amants. Embrasse-moi une fois, peut-être. Oui, oui, Marie. Si tu fais ça pour moi, je ferai ceci pour toi. Oui, 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 Marie. Oui, Marie. Vous savez, mon capitaine de business, on travaille dur d'un jour à l'autre, on met quelque chose de côté, et puis après on n'a rien. Ah, les clients, ça, j'ai pas en plein, les clients sont toujours... Mais tout de même, les Américains, ils ne payent pas souvent. Quand les Américains, c'est une habitude. Et puis alors, les Irlandais, ils ne posent pas trop avec eux pour nous. Pas la hein Moi, je suis veuf, vous savez, je suis pauvre, j'ai une fille charmelle, mais alors, elle est pas tendre. Regardez, regardez comme elle a bien repassé votre uniforme. Regardez comme, mon capitaine, c'est bien ça. Very good, very good, yeah. Et puis alors, regardez. Oh, alors la culotte. Oh, la culotte, hein, mon capitaine. Elle est gentille, ma charmelle. Hey, where the books Huh? The boats. Boots? Boats, yeah, boats. Boots? Oui, boots. Boots, boots. Ah, les boots, oui. Yeah. Mais, moi, ça, c'est des termes. No, 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 no. Boots, boots. Hein? Boots, boots. Ah, les boots. Oh, les boots. Les boots. Oh, oui, regardez. Regardez ça, c'est bien serré, mon capitaine. Ah, chère. Hein, ça, c'est... C'est ma charmelle, vous savez. Hein? Ah, 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 ah. Ça va bien, ma charmelle. Alors, tout de suite, mon capitaine. Maintenant, excusez-moi, il faut leur descendre en bas. À cause du business. Oh, right. 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 O
what, baby? What are you doing in my room? I've been looking over your metal collection. Ah, that's nothing. But you must go back to your room. Yeah, in a minute. <laughs> Captain Flagg. Hiya, Charmaine. I got almost everything packed. Will you want your long underwear in Paris? No, shove off, lame brain. Paris, you're going to Paris? Yeah. Take me with you. Oh, I can't, it's impossible. Why? Well, it's a very big important meeting. They're going to be asking me a lot of questions. You? Yeah, they want the point of view of an observer from up front. Get out of here. Yeah, will you get out? All right, all right. Well, I've observed much. I'd be glad to tell them. Yeah, well, I, uh, yeah, I know, but uh, I can't. You see, uh, your father wouldn't like it. What would he think about it? Papa. Well, Papa, he would be very glad if you would marry me and, and take me with you to Paris. Marry you? No. Uh, no, no. No, it's impossible, Charmaine. I liked you, but I can't. You see, uh, I married already. You terrible liar. Oh, no, I'm not. I'll prove it to you. Wait. Oh, here. Yeah. Here's a picture. A picture of my wife right here. Here it is. Lillian? Russell. Yeah, that was our maiden name. Sweet Caporal. Oh, sweet Corporal. You see, I was a corporal when she married me. That's what you always called it. Always called it. Yeah. Her sweet... Sweet Corporal. Captain Flagg, is it important, Mr. Moore? Urgent. That door. Take me with you anyway. I can't, baby, I can't. It's very beautiful. Come in. Oh, I, I beg your pardon, Captain. Uh, sir, what, what about those three men who were supposed to go up to Le Mans to get the Croix de Guerre? Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right. Get them out of the guardhouse and have them take a bath and send them up with an MP escort. And tell them not to belt the French general when he kisses them. It's just part of the ceremony. Aye, aye, sir. What an outfit. Oh, Captain. So these are the new replacements. Yes, sir. What does headquarters think I am, a wet nurse? It's a citizen's army these days, Captain Flagg. Citizen's army. I'll bet not one of them has even voted yet. You, how old are you? Going on 20, sir. In how many years? Two, sir. You. 17, sir. 17 whole years. Where do you hide them? Here, sir. Might as well wear these while you're here. Yes, You'll sir. need them. You, where do you come from? Providence, Rhode Island, sir. I know where it is. What kind of a job do you have there? I, well, nothing, sir. I, I was going to go to college before this came up. Well, this is your first job. Yes, sir. Well, we'll try to teach you what you have to know. And the more you learn, the better your chances will be of staying alive. College. Texas! Feed him, mister. Feed him. Pick up your bag. Right? Feed. That trail. Boy. Let me know when that new top soldier gets ah. here. He's got his work cut out for him. Aye, aye, sir. Hell, company. Company headquarters. More like a two-bit flap house to me. The aim to please. Please yourselves. I'm the new top soldier here. Who's the company clerk? I am. Well, clear this stinking mess out of here. Let's have a look at what you're doing. All right, I'm your feet. I really said, get out of here. Don't come back till I accept you. Lose weight. Anything else, top? Yeah.
Clear. Are you the new top soldier? Is he in? He's waiting for you. Well, tell him I'm here. Now. Your name? Lipinski. Lewis, put him on your roster. Help him off with his gear. Aye, aye. Captain Flagg, your new top soldier is here. Well, it's about time. Send him in. Aye, sir. Sergeant Quirt reporting for duty and requesting transfer at the same time. And there it is, in triplicate. Well, you know something? You're not going to get it. No? You know why? No. I'm glad to see you. You are. Yeah. When I asked for replacement, I thought they'd send me a run-of-the-mill soldier. And instead, they sent me the finest sergeant in the entire corps. Captain Flagg, you must really be in trouble to want me. Cards on the table, Quirt, I am. I got a company here made up of half old men and half green kids who want you to wipe their noses for them. I want you to take those kids and show them what they're in for. Make them hard, but don't break them. Eight hours of guns and drill a day. And make them so hard they'd rather eat steel than take a dressing down from you. Begging your pardon, Captain, but where are you going to be while all this is going on? I'm going to be in Paris. I got eight days leave. Why? Well, if you don't know why you're going to be in Paris, Captain, I'll be the last one to try to tell you. Kuiper! Kuiper! All the platoon leaders on the double. I say. Who's this? Lewis, and he came up with me. Just got out of the hospital. Who the soldier? No, sir. Measles. 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 Babies. Always sending me babies. Look, I want to show you the layout. Come in. Look, we're holding over here. On our left is the French. The center... Another baby to see you, Captain Flagg. doing here? I've changed my mind. I'm going with you. Oh, I, I, I don't mind if you are going to be busy in Paris. I'll be busy, too. Oh, bet. Now, Charmaine, I thought we settled all this last night. In the first place, I can't take you to Paris because of your father and my wife. In the second place, I haven't got room in the motorcycle. And in the third place, I might not even stay in Paris. Yeah, this is going to be one of the biggest meetings of the war. General Pershing himself is going to be there. You terrible liar. Is he not, Sergeant? Huh? It's not true, is it, that General Pershing would talk to him? Oh, it's true, lady. Absolutely true. Captain Flagg here is a very important man. He has to go to Paris. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm here. I'm what you'd call a sort of a replacement. I do not understand. Never mind. And don't you try to explain, either. Now, Charmaine, you go on home to Papa Pete and wait for Captain Flagg. You're my girl, remember? And if I hear of you're running around with anybody else, I will tear you in two. <laughs> See? Now, go on home. Good night, Charmaine. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Sergeant. Bye. Replacement, huh? Quake, don't try anything while I'm gone. I broke in China for a stunt like this, and I'll break you again. What about that little girl? Right, little girl. Don't give me that. You know that little girl. I want a chief of China. Captain, I saved your life. If it hadn't been for me, you'd have married that little girl. And right now, you'd be running a Chinese laundry with a seat of your pants hanging out between your knees. What happened to her? What happened to the battleship, Maine? Platoon commander's aboard, sir. Send him in. Wait a minute. Who's senior? Aldrich. Attention!
Gentlemen, this is First Sergeant Quirt, who will be in charge here. It's Lieutenant Aldrich, Lieutenant Moore, Lieutenant Schmidt. Aldrich, you are senior here, aren't you? Yes, sir. Two days ahead of the other, sir. Uh -huh. You will be in command. Ask Quirt for any advice you need. I'll be back Wednesday week. Now, men, Sergeant Quirt is one of the best darn soldiers that ever tore up a memorandum receipt. I have soldiered with him all over the world. And there isn't a finer, cleaner, smarter marine afloat than Quirt. When he's sober. And while he's sober, he'll run this outfit, whether I'm here or absent. But uh, Quirt loves the bottle. And when he's drunk, he is the lousiest, filthiest tramp that ever wore a uniform. He's even worse than I am. And you know, I don't allow anybody to get as bad as that. If he tanks up, I'll bust him. I busted him before, and I'll bust him again. Get that, Aldrich. The first time you find him down in the square with his face in the dirt, lock him up. And keep him locked up till I get back. But if he behaves himself, give him his head, and let him have anything he wants. He's forgotten more about being a soldier than any of you college boys will ever know. Now, if you're wise, you will not play cards with him. Uh -huh. You said it. And before you lend him any money, kiss it one last long farewell. He'll steal your cognac. He'll steal your socks. Your women. And your front teeth if they've got any gold in them. That's all. Piper? Motorcycle alongside, sir. Give her a spin and we'll shove off. Dang me. Hit, hut! That's the way we do it in the Marine Corps, and that's the way you're going to do it. Any questions? Ten. Right, Jola. Sixteen count manual. Who? Top, two, three, four, top, two, three, four, Get out! 
I say fall in, I don't want to see nothing but a cloud of dust. And when that cloud of dust clears away, I want to see 40 co and statues. Fall out! Fall in! Dismiss! Promenade avec moi down by the canal tonight? No. Why not? Oh, Surgeon, I, I have something terrible to tell you. Come. What is it? Surgeon, you must find another place to stay. Papa says so. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to leave. I like it here. But you came here to spend one night, and you, you've been here the whole week. Have you ever had a nicer guest? That's not the point. This is the captain's room, and, and he's coming back. Let the now. captain find himself another room. Oh, you do not understand. So captain pays for the room, even if he's not here. Do you mean that the captain's been paying for this room, and I've been paying for it, too? Oui. But he pays more than you, so you must go, Papa says. Do you want me to go? No. Charmin, come here. You're making a terrible mistake. Honey, this isn't just another one of those things with me. This is different. Why, I'd do anything for you. Just ask me. Anything. Give up the room. Oh, Charmaine. Who would I get to do my laundry? Well, you'll find someone. No, honey. There never was another girl in the world could iron shirts like you. Maybe, maybe you could meet me down by the canal? Well, what would we do down by the canal? The laundry. Monsieur Jean, c'est le départ, hein? Well, au revoir, Mademoiselle Charmaine. Certainly has been nice knowing you. Hope I meet up with you again sometime. Pardon me, Pete. The same to you. Bye. Nicole, Nicole, here, ici. Oh, c'est vous. S'il vous plaît, um, uh, je vous parle avec vous. Oh, don't be afraid, uh, not before. Je vous, uh, uh, je vous simplement parler avec vous. I'm not afraid, if that is what you say. Hey, you speak American. We study at the school. Well, that's a pretty good school, uh, vous parlez. You speak very well. Sister Cecile does not permit that we speak French in the English class. Well, I can't tell you how glad I am you have Sister Cecile for a teacher. Thank you. So my father does not permit that I speak with American soldiers in any language. Oh, I see. But, but sometimes in the English class, we speak a little French. What village in America do you come from? I come from the village of uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia is a city. Thank you. Benjamin Franklin came from Philadelphia. He discovered lightning. He did? How old are you? I have 17 years. What age are you? I have uh, 22 years. Nicole, I... I think about you all the time. Menon. Yes. You only see me three times. Four times. I waited for you yesterday at the crossroads, but I did not speak. Nicole, It I... is the war. Yes, if it hadn't been for the war, I never would have seen you at all. Nicole, that song you sing at school, what does it mean in English? À toi je donne, to you I give, mon amour, all my love, et ma vie, all my life. Je te promets, I promise, mon amour. All my love and my vie, all my life, les feuilles s'envolent, the leaves fly away, les roses meurent, 
the roses die La fleur de notre amour But the flower of our love Dure toujours Will last forever We hand in hand All the years All our love We'll find a land I've seen few have known for you forever in all I do mon amour all my love et ma vie all my life Nice ice cream. Oh, wonderful. Ah. Harder. 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 Not that hard. How are you, Captain? I am a wreck. That's what I am. I am an epoch making disaster. You see before you, Mr. Uh, Aldrich, one of the seven great calamities of the world. Well, what's happened? Not a thing. Kids in shape? They'll do. Give me three more days, I'll risk him on the line. <laughs> three more days. Just try and get three more days. Brigade on a Captain Flag. Send him in. Send him in. All right, buddy. Captain Flag. Here, Captain Simpson. He wants you to know that the crowd from G1 are on their way over. Mm -hmm. Tell him I'm much obliged. Thank you, sir. Thank you, soldier. You know what headquarters wants us to do. They want us to go in and straighten the line. Straighten the line. Did you ever hear of a straight line between two countries? A little more coffee, Skip? No! Good evening, Good evening Mr. Kiper. Hello. Did you get tattooed while you were in Paris? I was wondering, maybe my discharge papers got here. Nope. Didn't come. Keep in touch with us. Tough. Three years. Red tape. You, uh, Atande, E.C. Okay. 
Captain Flagg, there's an old gentleman outside and he wants to see you about his daughter. What about his daughter? He has a complaint, sir. Against someone in this outfit? Yes, sir. Send him in. I can't leave this outfit half a day without somebody breaking loose. Don't you know this is a decent village with decent people living in it? Is this the man that has the complaint? Yes, sir. Think fast, Captain Flagg. Think fast. What is this all about, Pete? One of my men? Oui, mon capitaine. Oh, this is hard to believe, Pete. Hard to believe. All right. Let's have it. Spit it out. Allez, Pete. Probable, mon capitaine. Je me fais un peu vieux et j'ai travaillé dur toute ma vie pour aider mes enfants honnêtement. Et ma charmante n'a jamais fait quoi que ce soit de mal. Mais voilà, depuis que vos soldats américains sont arrivés, ils lui ont raconté un tas d'histoires qui lui ont tourné la tête. Ils lui ont fait un tas de promesses. Et maintenant, ma pauvre charmante n'est plus la même. Pourquoi ont-ils fait ça, ma pauvre charmante Elle qui est innocente, comme un petit agneau. He says the soldiers have been making a lot of promises to Charmaine. Is that all he said? The rest is poetry. Well, omit the poetry. See, omit the poetry. Eh, vivement. Eh ben, ben, là, je vous le dis et je vous le répète, mon capitaine. Elle est innocente comme une petite fleur blanche. Un petit agneau. What's this? He says she's an innocent lamb. Charmaine? Think fast, Captain Flagg. Think fast. Tell him I know she's an innocent child. That she's one of the most charming, respectable, virtuous ladies I've ever had the privilege of meeting. And ask him how much he wants. How much what? Money, you highbrow money. What else do you think he wants? It's only a game. Le capitaine voudrait savoir combien d'argent vous voulez. Ah, non, non. Il faut qu'il se marie tout d'abord. Et puis ensuite, il faut me payer pour que je ne fasse pas passer en conseil de guerre. Il me faut 500 francs. More lamb. No, he wants the fellow to marry the girl. And he wants 500 francs. Now. Well, now we're getting somewhere, all right? Offer him 300 francs and tell him he can have any son in law he wants out of the whole outfit. Je peux choisir n'importe qui de toute la compagnie. Et vous, vous aurez 300 francs. 300 francs Oh, ça n'a rien à faire. 300 francs, non, mais sans blague. Vous vous fichez de moi Pour qui me prenez-vous Ah, euh, si vous me payez pas ce que je veux, c'est-à-dire 500 francs, j'irai au GHQ. Vous entendez Au GHQ, on verra bien. Oh, wait, 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 Oui, oui, de meilleur. Le maire l'a écrit. Ah, vous allez voir, nom d'une pipe. All right, tell him we apologize, and he can have the 500 francs. Le capitaine présente ses excuses. A dick of vous aurez pour 500 francs. Ah, bon, bon, ça va bien pour les 500 francs. Merci Pas beaucoup, quoi. monsieur, je suis enchanté. Merci infiniment, ça va m'aider beaucoup. Quoi. Mais il y a quelqu'un ici qui devra l'épouser, nom d'une pipe, et tout de suite. The money's all right, but it has to be a certain man. Which man? Kill him. Suis-la! What is this, Quirt? I don't know, Captain. I didn't quite catch the drift myself. You been around with Charmaine? 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 How'd they act? You know she was my girl and couldn't keep your hands off her. All right, suppose it's true. What are you going to do about it? What are we going to do about yeah. it? Yeah. I am not going to do a thing. It's regulations, Quirt. A formal charge has been lodged against you. And my hands are tied. I'm trapped. If I let the old man go to headquarters, you know the law, they'll hang you. It breaks my heart to see this happen, Quirt. But you are about to become a bridegroom. This is a frame-up flag, and you know it. This old man just wants money. He ain't got a thing on me. I never did anything with Charmaine, but teach her a couple of songs. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh, Quirt. With your reputation in this army, who's going to believe that? I'll take my chances. Let him go to headquarters. Don't be a hay shaker, Quirt. What chance would you have for an army court-martial when ten majors start an iron ball rolling? Ten majors back in Paris are going to see to it that nobody has any fun but themselves. You haven't got a chance, Quirt, and you know it. Aldrich, escort Sergeant Quirt down to the tavern. And tell Charmaine I'll give you away in marriage the handsomest sergeant in the war. And Quirt, you arrived just in time with the replacements. You saved the day. The Marines have landed, and the situation is well in hand. We're about to decorate you. We're going to let you hold the bag. Kaber, get down to the manure pile and pick up the mayor. Dust them off and bring him back here. Aye, sir. I want to witness this ceremony myself. Good morning. 
Charlie, boys. Oh, is Wagner a chance to see Charmaine? Certainly. Well, I'm in the clear because she'll explain she don't want this. No good, Quirt. In France, Le Papa runs the family. Permettez-moi de vous présenter la famille. Mon frère Gilbert, le cousin Paul, l'oncle Louis, l'oncle Gaspard, mon grand-oncle Sylvestre, ma belle-sœur Marie, ma sœur Clotilde, mes nièces Suzanne et Émilie, ma tante Mathilde, mon autre tante Marie-Louise, la cousine Gabrielle, toute la famille. What is he talking about? Why, your relatives, Quirt. Pete must have sent out invitations a week ago. Hi. Hello, Hello Well, he's never going to get away, get away with this little game because as soon as Charm... Yes, sir, and I understand you can give me permission. Who's the girl? Nicole Bouchard. Nicole Bouchard. Does she live here in Barley Duke? Her father has a farm on the hill where the road turns into Barley Duke. Uh-huh. Lewis and Lewis. Aren't you the boy that had the mumps? Measles, sir. Oh. But you've been here only eight days. Did you know her before? No, sir. Well, even in a war, eight days is an awful short time. Uh, you sure you want to do this? Oh, yes, sir, I'm sure. Hundred to one, she's only after your allotment. Oh, no, sir, I don't think so. You don't, huh? How old are you? Twenty-two, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, it's your life, and now more than ever, you've got every right to mess it up. Uh, have you talked to her parents? No, sir, not yet. Gate okay, runner. Commander. Here. Order, sir. Please initial. Luck, sir. Thank you. Well, Lewison, one thing about the Army. Decisions are all made for you. We're moving in immediately, so this will have to wait till we get back. Yes, sir. Lepinski! Yes, sir. On your way, boy, on your way. Yes, sir. We're moving in. Pass the word to all patrol commanders to be standing in a heavy pack in 30 minutes. Camions at the crossroads with ammunition. And tell Quirt to salvage all rations in the square. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Don't tell Quirt we're going in. We'll marry him to Charmaine and march the blushing bridegroom off to war. Shove. Aye, sir. Hello, Flying. Uh, have you received those orders yet? I come out of town for a staff conference and find the whole shebang asleep. Just got the order, General. We'll get off on time. Never miss a train in my life. Well, I don't see how you do it. Davis, where's that map? Map. 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 Map, sir. Well, see here, Flag. Here's where you're going in. Here's the line. Corps wants that line straightened out. Your men can do it. They're a bunch of tramps, but they're good at that sort of thing. Individualists, General. Individualists. Yes, so I've heard. That's why they picked another job for you. 
They want you to bring out a German officer. Oh, don't say that. Don't break my heart. I knew you had a bowl of black crepe up your sleeve when you came through that door. What? Oh, yeah. Flag, we hear there's going to be a big push coming up. If we can confirm it, we can save thousands of lives. If your men bring me back one German officer in good condition, I'll send the whole company back for a month's rest. I'll do better than that. I'll give you eight days in any hotel in Paris. You're an awful bum, Flag. Otherwise, I'd put you on staff. And carry a map? No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> give it to him, you know. Cold steel. Let him have it. Hey, hey me. Well, who is this? Wedding party? Flag, you're not getting married, are you? Not this time, sir. Sergeant Quirt. Quirt, you're the last man in the world I'd expect to get married. Me too, sir. Flag, what is this? Some sort of case here? Charges of some sort? Oh, no, not at all, sir. Sergeant Quirt here expressed a desire to marry the innkeeper's daughter, and I saw no reason to stand in the way. General, I'd like to have you meet the bride, the future Mrs. Quirt. Charmaine, General Coakley. I hope you'll be very happy, Mademoiselle. Are you really a general? <laughs> uh, uh, well, yes. Uh, well, don't waste time. Go I'm asked. Start the ceremony. Oh, shit. Do you, Charmaine, take this man for your husband? Court, I'm sorry that I won't be able to wait and kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have about 20 minutes, Flag. Aye, aye, sir. Now, you won't have much time for a honeymoon, Court. But if you bring me back one German officer in good condition, I'll see that you get a whole month's leave. Remember, Flag, 20 minutes. Right, okay. All right, all right, all right. Mommy, uh, do you, Charmaine? She does not, I do not, we do not. So we're going in 20 minutes, huh? And you were going to tie me up before I knew anything about it. And I suppose if I don't marry her, you're going to lock me up. All right, if you think you can take your men in without a first sergeant, you go ahead, lock me up. <laughs> I'd like to see you take this bunch of babies across that last two miles without a top sergeant. Well, if this sergeant goes in, he goes in single. So you better make up your mind what you're gonna do. I won't lock you up. I'll turn you over to headquarters. That suits me fine. Suits you? Oh, you kidding? Come on. Let's have some more of that ceremony. Do you, Charmen, uh, take this man? Nobody's taking this man. Come on, Flag. Let's go down to headquarters. They'll hang you. Sure they will. And what about you? If you take this outfit up front without me, the day after they hang me, wherever I am, I'll be seeing you. Do you, Charmen, take this right, man for your husband? Off, man. Turn it off, turn it off. All right, skunk. You got me. You win. Hit the deck. Now ah, you're talking. Sorry, Charmaine. I can't marry you tonight. I got work to do. And if I never see you again, well, I guess I never see you again. So long, Chris. We're fighting a war with Germany. I don't give a hoot whether they're married or not. Now go on, beat it. Get out of here. Oh, well. Please. Mon chapeau. What does he want? Somebody swiped his hat. Get out of here, you. I look, uh, Moran, we're going to Aubignac. And when those extra rations come through, bring them on up. And try to get those kids a couple of hot meals while we're up there. Aye, aye, sir. I'm 
sorry, Charmaine. But I need that sergeant. You should have taken me to Paro with you, Captain. Yeah, maybe I should have. But I brought something back for you. I got promised. It's a costume. Put off a gallon of Folie Berger. The only costume on the show. I thought I'd get to see you in it. I guess I won't now. Kiss me goodbye. I love kid. Forget me. Forget all about me in court. Because the chances are you'll never see either of us again. I'll never forget you, Captain. Well, maybe if I get leave, Charmaine, you never can tell. It's a lousy war, kid. But it's the only one we've got. Que Dieu vous protège au combat, mes enfants d'Amérique. Je vous bénis. Good luck. Are you nine cops think you can march these kids out of here, don't you? Yeah. Well, make sure you march them back alive. Because if you don't, I'll know where to find you every decoration day. Anything else, Sergeant? Yeah, keep that out of there. Move on. What'd you say? Nothing, sir. You said something. I didn't say anything. Oh, uh, talking back to a non-commissioned officer. Uh, Pennant, come here. Throw him in the brake. And don't prefer charges we can back. Get him out of uh, here. All right, all right. All right, fill it. I thought I made you a cook. So we're moving up, sir. That's why I made you a cook. Get out of here. Fill it up in here. Let's go. Fill it out.
Jack Rifle! Little boy! Little boy! Little boy! Little boy! on the embankment by the railroad station. Somebody threw him potato masher. Give me one of those dope sticks, Olsen. Those are a quarter grain, Captain. Great. Yeah, take two of these now, son. I'm going to put the rest of these in your pocket. Take one every three hours till they carry you out. What if I take them all when your back is turned? Go ahead. That's your business. Don't be a sucker, kid. You got a free ticket home. Go on. Sleep, boy. Go on and sleep. You're in a nice, quiet, deep hole now where the shells can't reach you. Rations are in and the men are fed, Captain Flagg. Thanks, Court. It's pretty rugged coming on that ravine. Sometimes I think you're trying to lose me. Mind if I go take a look around? I'd like to see some of this war. All I've been up to now is a lousy bakery wagon. Get your head blown off if that's what you want. But go bury yourself while you're about it. The burial detail is there for the night. Then hut! Captain Flagg? No! Captain Flagg? Mm hmm? Yeah. Lieutenant Cunningham reporting, sir. First time up? Yes, sir. Holy sweet jumping, jumping, and with spurs! Are you going to a masquerade boy disguised as an officer? Or are you just trying to save the snipers the trouble of spotting you with a glass? Well, I see what you mean, sir. Oh, you do? What do they teach you guys in those officers' colleges? How to shine your shoes and press your pants? I'll do anything you will, sir. Why? If it ain't Frank Merriwell. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do with you, Frankie. We're going to let you pitch tomorrow. Now go on over and sit down and keep your eyes open. Headquarters Company L. Yeah. L. 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 A. B. C. D. E. F. L. 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 L is in Brooklyn, you stupid. General Copley. Yes, sir. That's a flag. The old man? Yes, sir. Flag, yes, sir. Yes, General. Yes, I know that back in the railway station. Our crossfire couldn't keep him out. Oh, it'll take a whole brigade action to keep him out of there for good. Huh? What's that, sir? Staff officers where? Louder, sir. Louder. I can't hear you. Oh, now you're too loud, sir. All right. Now go ahead. I got a wrap. I got a wrap right in front of me. Yeah. Farmhouse behind a gray stable. 100 yards to the east. Uh huh. Yes, sir. All right. I'll get somebody through tonight, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Damn news. Staff officers, huh? Hmm. Yeah, they got a report from observation post. Staff officers behind a farmhouse behind a gray stable. Slapetsky. Yes, sir. Get Lieutenant Moore. Wait a minute. You're not going to send Moore. This is a job for a man, not a boy. You give me Moran. We'll get you a crop and we'll all go home. 
Word, word. I'm not keeping you here out of love. These men have to be fed. The only, the only one that can run the ration down the ravine under enemy gunfire. Now, the Pinsky, hit the jack. Yes, sir. Mr. Moore? We're ready, sir. Let's go. Any sign of Moore and his party? No, sir. Let's have a look. Are they overdue, sir? I'm afraid they are, boy. They should have been back an hour ago. You. you still want to get married? For the record, sir? For the record. There's nothing I can do about it now. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I almost got married once. Once. Hm. 25 times. China, Philippines, San Domingo, even New York City. Wherever there was women. But I was a wise guy. I was saving myself. From what? From what? Or more? Nothing. No sign of the college boy. Does he win his letter, Captain Flagg? The chocolate soldier who forgot to come back? Or maybe the Germans captured him and they get to go home. Is that the way the game is played, Captain Flagg? Take it easy, kid. I don't talk. That's right. Let the 30 day wonder speak his piece. Why don't you get off the bench and play, Captain Flagg? Why don't you get in the game? We can use a hero. There are two minutes left, and we can use a hero. What price glory now, Captain Flagg? Shortest way home is right out there. Honeyham? Yes, sir. You're in command here. Look, at exactly 510, check your watch, see what you got. 503, sir. Make it 52. 
at exactly 5.10, you tow everything we have right at the railway station and send the first platoon down through the ravine and start firing them there. Make them think we're coming through that way. Don't send anybody in and don't lose anybody. You got it? Aye, aye, sir. All right. Anything you want me to tell Charmaine? Yeah. Tell her you're a friend of mine. This is over. We go back to Bali, Duke. Quirt, I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to get you off the hook. What hook? After we get this crowd, I'm going to have you transferred to another outfit so you won't have to go back to Bali, Duke, and face the music. What music, Flag? Wedding music. Da -da -da -da. One campaign at a time, Flag. We'll lay out the Bali, Duke campaign when we get this one done. Guts, huh? Braves. Don't do me any favors, Flag. Because I've been thinking about Charmaine just like you. And I'm seeing things different. You know, back in body, look, I thought she was just another dame. A long line of dames, but I must have been wrong. Because I keep thinking about her all the time. Something's got into me. Maybe it's running those rations down the ravine. I don't know. You know, if you tried to unload her on me now, I'd take her. Wedding, cognac, Pete. Relatives and all. Just like you, only you haven't got a chance. What makes you... What makes you think she'd see you after the way you walked out on her? She'd see me, all right. She's crazy about me. I was the greatest soldier she ever met. She used to say she wished the whole outfit would move away and just leave us in peace. <laughs> she doesn't know enough English to say that, and you don't know enough French. The language I was talking, she understood. Is das nicht ein Gartenhaus? Ja, das ist ein Gartenhaus. What are you waiting for? Oh, go nicht. Meine Herren, wir müssen uns beeilen. Der Feind ist auf der ganzen Linie durchgebrochen. Hey, da auf, I think they said a live German officer. Ich bin kein Koch. Ich bin Oberst Freiherr von und zu Amter. Und als Gefangener erwarte ich, nach den Regeln der Genfer Konvention, meinem Rang entsprechend behandelt zu werden. Bist du ein Oberst? I am Colonel Freiherr oh. von und zu Amter. Du bist der Wahrheit? Ich bin Oberst. Ach, sei der Colonel. Ach, Colonel. Colonel. 
I'm mighty glad to see you. Let's go, Colonel. Hold on. Let's go, Colonel. Couldn't it have been you? Oh, no. Hey, Fleming! What? What? The motors. You what? I got hit. Why, you dirty. Oh, wouldn't you give a million bucks for that? Ain't that the prettiest little punch you ever saw? In and out without touching the ball. You crook, you stuck your leg out on I purpose. I never did, Captain. You know Flag. you did. Come on, Flag. I got a date with a lady. Oh, uh, you. Uh... Everything all right, Cunningham? Yes, sir. Except some general has been calling about a German officer. Wants to know if we got one. Well, tell him he calls again and we got some. But they're all dead. Hmm. Baby guns, Captain? Dighty pins. Vaccination. Oh, it'll be a miracle if he ever recovers. I suppose you think you're going to go back to Paula Jook. Holson, tell him there's nothing the matter with him. Tell him he doesn't have to go back to the base hospital. Tell him you can fix him up right here. Go on, tell him. You've been crawling in the mud with this? You bet your sweet life. Can you walk? That depends on what I see. You don't mean to tell me you're going to send him back. This man's going to get out of here, Captain Blake. Sergeant, get over to sick bed once and get a tetanus shot and then get out of here. Oh, oh hey, 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 this is breaking the law! That's what duty calls! Oh, it brings tears to my eyes to say farewell to my old company commander. I don't see how I can go through with it. You better be a snobby, Quirt, or that door be locked. What door? Charmaine's. Are you wounded too, Captain Flag? I oh, went inside of 10 minutes, I'll be wounded or bumped off or have that officer with a general. Do me a favor, will you? Get yourself killed just once, just to please me? Well, as we say in France, all the reward. Oh. Captain Fuller, how about some company? The air over by that railroad embankment is full of flying steel. A green man wouldn't have a chance. Are you going? I got personal and private reasons. If you're going, that suits me. Can you crawl on your belly? Captain Flagg, I've been crawling under trains for five years. I was a locomotive engineer on the Louisiana, Mississippi, and Araban. You ought to see a few railroad wrecks. I had three engines shot out from under me last year. Cunningham, I think you'll do. You know I'll do. Captain Flagg, I've got one. I've got one. I've got a German officer. Well, let's have a look. Pour some light on him and let's have a look. Well. Boys! Boy, the German lieutenant! He didn't wait for us to go get him, he came on over. You are the sweetest thing I've seen since Charmaine. Piper, Piper, take good care of him for me. And whatever you do, don't frighten him to death. He's our ticket of leave. We're going home. Easy, easy. Easy. Come on, honey, come on. Lawson, Lawson, I'm going to seat you with the old decorator for this. And I insist upon being best man at your wedding. And besides, I personally am going to give you 10 francs. Thank you, sir. Captain Flagg? Captain Flagg? Yes, son. Yes, son. Yes, sir. Captain Flagg. Please, please stop the fight. All right, son. Please. All right. Please, Captain Flag. Please, Captain Flag. Please. Captain Flag. please. Captain Flag. please. You're going to be all right, boy. You're going to be all right. All right. Ha, 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 ha. 
Company L. Captain. Captain Flag. Skipper. Flag here, sir. Yes, sir. Now? Well, we've got your officer for you, sir. Right here. You said if we got an officer, we could all go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll send them back to you, sir. I got the order. Aye, aye, sir. We're ordered to take the railway station and hold it. But, Captain, they said if we... I know what they said. They said if we got them a crowd... Well, this is what they're saying now. Everybody goes. Lepensky hit the deck. Yes, sir. Moran, first platoon. Aye, aye, sir. Ferguson, second platoon. Aye, aye sir. Howdy! Your new top soldier. Aye, aye, sir. All right, you're overpaid on the fence. Mud guppies. Rise and shine. Hit the deck. We're moving out. Come on, everybody. Olsen. sergeant, terribly in love, about to be married when he was shipped up to the front. Never heard from again. Moran. Good evening, Major. Sergeant Quirt. What's up, Quirt? The outfit in? No, they're coming in tonight. What'd you do? Jump the hospital? You bet your sweet life I did. Now, do me a favor. Get me an American uniform, will you? I got two MPs on my tail, and I want to meet them in these. Yeah, why should I stick my neck out for you? Now, you can't get in trouble. I was wounded. I ain't my right mind. When were you ever? Look, I was wounded. I got aspasia. My name is Field Marshal von Hindenburg, and I'm looking for a car or a pants. was lost in a shipment. Now, get me an American uniform, will you? 
And don't tell anybody. Deutschland number Allison. Thanks a lot. strength enough to come crawling back here. And what do I find when I get here? You waiting for me, broken-hearted? I should say not. You've been working both sides of the ocean, playing footsies with our boy allies. Je comprends pas. Je comprends pas my foot. Whose hat is that? <laughs> and you, surgeon, you never looked at another woman when you were away, huh? You're darn right I didn't. Pauvre petit. There were no women. That's right. There was only flag. And I'm the first one back. Come here. Stay away from me. What's the matter? You don't remember the way you left, do you? I do not. She doesn't not. We doesn't not. The marriage is off. If I never see you again, I'll never see you again. I guess you're right, Charmaine. After the way I acted, I don't deserve a second chance. Turn around. Come on. You know, all the time I was out there, I kept thinking she could have been mine. That's what kept me going through all the shot and the shell. Maybe it could still be me and Charlie. And then when I was wounded, I was lying in the hospital under ether. They tell me that I kept calling your name. Charmaine. Charmaine. I'm blessed. Forgive me, Charmaine. I'm blessed. Yeah. You were wounded? Just in the leg. Oh, pauvre petit. Yeah. That's more like it. There was a couple of other things I thought of in the hospital, only I don't know how to say them in French. I must be Moran with my uniform. Uniform? Yeah. I was just wearing pajamas. Come on in, slug! Oh, I, I, I say, I, I beg your pardon, Major... Quart. Uh, Captain Wickham here. Uh, I thought... Well, I, I mean, I, I had no idea. Well, don't get any ideas, Captain, because this young lady happens to be my fiancé. Fiancé? Well, as, uh, as you Americans say in uh, baseball, I... Uh, I appear to be offside. Fiancé, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Now, wait a minute. Does it mean the same thing in English that it means yeah, in Spanish? Yeah, sure, it means you don't go with anybody else. Come here. Uh, what about you? Uh, don't mind about me. Come on in, Moran. Oh, Wickham. I, uh... I'm awfully sorry, but, uh... Your fiancé has my cap. Voici, Capitaine. Thank you. Well, uh, congratulations again. Evening. Good evening. Good night.
C'est vous, mon capitaine. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez Jamais, j'ai hier. Oui, évidemment, elle est ici. Voilà une cause des questions. You still got a mayor in this town? Mayor? Ah, le maire, le maire, oui, évidemment. Well, can I wake him up? Pourquoi? I want to marry your daughter. Oh, mariage. Hmm, mariage. Wedding ring, compris? Ouais, avec le sergent. No, not avec le sergent. Avec moi. Comment? Avec moi, me, moi. You? Oui. Avec vous? Oh! Break it up, break it up. Go on down and get the mayor. Oui, j'y vais, j'y vais immédiatement. I want to get married tonight. Charmaine! Charmaine! Viens ici tout de suite! Oh, c'est le plus beau jour de ma vie. Un mariage! Madame la Comtesse de la Cognac. Monsieur le grand capitaine de mon cœur. Captain of your heart, am I? Well, you know something? Tonight I'm going to believe that. I want to believe it and I'm going to believe it. Come here. Oh, Captain, mon papa. Oh, if you mean Pete, he's my papa too. I, uh, I just sent him down to get the mayor. We're going to get married, you and me. And the United States government is going to send us to Paris on our honeymoon. What do you think of that? What about your wife? You didn't believe that, did you? No. But I did believe you. You did not want to marry me. I'm sick of wandering. I want to sit down in one place and never get up. That's today. Tomorrow you, you'll feel different. I'm betting against tomorrow. What? Nothing. You love me? Yes. That's the right answer. Are you through? Whatever it is, whatever it is, go tell Cunningham. That little girl, the one Lewisham was, she's outside. What do you want me to do about it? Talk to her. Send her in. I gotta talk to this girl. I understand. The girl, Lewison told me about you. He wanted to marry you, but according to regulations, he had to get permission from his commanding officer. You understand? Oui, yes. Is he? Yes, yes. Yeah, he did a he did a brave thing. And I thought he was too young to get married. But when you think of him, please think this. A lot of boys come over here, and the only thing that happens to them is what happened to him out there. But he had more. He met you. Thank you. For life. No more for me. It was all right when you had 30 or 40 men in the hills who knew their jobs. But now there, there are so many little boys. Little boys who have no business being here at all. You know, Charmaine, if ever they finish this war, I ain't even going home. 
to stay right here, drink Papa's wine, and have a lot of little kids hopping around the floor. Yours and mine. Well, if it ain't Sergeant Quirt. I got air first, Flag. You ain't wanted around here, Quirt. You take your hands off of Charmaine. You want my hands off of Charmaine? You come on and take them off. No, no, we, we must be friends. When you're around, Flag, this lady is my fiance. remember? You engaged me to her. Yeah, well, I changed my mind. She's my fiancé now, and I'm going to marry her. Don't fight, please. Charmaine, get behind that bar. Get out of here, Flag. Beat it. Don't get a girl of your own. Quay, you're drunk. Both of us. Yeah, both of us. What are you going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? I'm going to have a drink. Both of us. Poor Charmaine, poor. And poor one with a sergeant, too. Because this is the last thing you'll ever do for him. Flag, I think it's only fair to warn you that I am the sole survivor of seven catastrophes, each of which was calculated to carry off every man jack in the immediate neighborhood as was adjacent. And so if there was to be a catastrophe, if you have any dimensions in the near future in this year vicinity, I have expectations of survival exceeding your own. Have one on me. Thanks. I will. Quirt, your method of expression is complicated by the fact that your tongue is as thick as your head. But if you contemplate any trouble, I think it's only fair to warn you that, among other things, you forgot to bring along your gun. <laughs> <laughs> Have a drink on me. Thanks, I will. I'll tell you what I'll do with your flag. I'll take you outside with two of those old toys of 50 yards. And you the best pistol shot in the corps? Why, you'd put a bullet through my carburetor as easy as pitching a penny through a well. Come again and have another drink on me. Thank you, I will. I'll take you on any way you want, you little baboon. I can out-think, out-shoot, and out-drink you. There ain't nothing I can't do any better than you. Have one on me. Yes, I will. Quirt, the time has come for you to say good night. Frank, <laughs> yeah. did you ever know of me leaving the place before I was ready to leave? No. But tonight, I'm going to see it for the first time. Stop it! Stop it, you dead bitch! Hey, Bissy! You call yourself a barranger, too, huh? Eh? You don't ask me who I'm married. You think I'm going to marry the one that is not dead? It's a sin she ain't going to marry the one that is. <laughs> I'm going to marry the one I choose. All right, choose. I love you both. All right. Then I'll choose. Because I got the gun. Are you going to go jump in the canal? Or is it going to take six poor bears to put you there? Take your hands out of your pocket. I haven't got a gun, Flag, remember? It's the paradise. I'll shoot you for it. <laughs> Kyber, is Quirt crooked with the dice? He's got a pair of dice that ought to be in the circus. All right, then I handle the poker. Uh, poker? Sure. The man that wins gets a gun. The man that loses gets a head start. Everybody wins, see? One gets a girl, the other gets to stay in bed the rest of this war. All right, show me. Go and get the car. Captain Flag, I wouldn't do that. Shut your hands! I'll try anything once, soldier. Go on, show me. Get the car. Please, Captain, please. Don't worry about me. I'm indestructible. Go ahead, get him. Now. Have a drink. Come on, Thanks, I will. I'll call the MPs. You belong in there. Get out of here! Come on. Come on. Marshal that jaw. And if you stick your neck in once before the game is over, 
I'll wreck you for life. Now, are you going to go or do I demonstrate? Shut up! Shut up, Captain Flagg. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Swami. Now, upstairs. Another table with twins. Charmaine, upstairs. Cut the flag in there? Don't go in there. Why not? Listen, you didn't get killed at the front, did you? No. Well, what's the sense of getting killed in the saloon? The bottom card is an ace. Captain Flagg, the chances are one in 13 that the bottom card will be an ace. And what are the chances of the second one on the bottom card being an ace? I'll shuffle. Cut. Cold poker. Five cards open, no draw. Ace. I'll have a drink. Ace. I'll have a drink. Sixes, a pair. Parades flag. Three sixes, Quirt. This next card better be a eight, or you are a dead man. moving up. We're ordered back. Ordered back in. Everybody's going back in. General movement. The big push is on. What? These are canceled. Well, why'd you have to come and tell me? Headquarters sent out looking for you, Captain. Come on, Skipper. Let's go. Well, you never found me to give me the message. Now, can you remember that, or do I have to bury you to keep your mouth shut? I got in that prison, I gave him the railway station, and I got papers that say I'm on leave. The company was moving out. What could I do, Captain? You could have gotten an attack or something. You could have fallen down and broken your neck on the way here. Tell them any story you can think of. Only I didn't get the message. 
I earned my leave. It's signed, sealed, and delivered. And that crowd at headquarters had to keep their end of the bargain. They can't take those men back in. I won't stand for it. Charmaine, should we stay here? Yes. Yes. be drunk, but I know I'll go. Howdy! Lepensky! Get rolling. There's something, something about this profession of arms, some kind of religion connected with it that you can't shake. Goodbye, Charmaine. Put your money in real estate and Marry that cuckoo if you can. You'll never see me again. Red, follow us close with the rations. Follow us because we don't know where we're going. Nobody knows. I I do. I got something for you. Your discharge papers. I've been holding them for a year. Sorry. So long, kid. We're going too, Mr. Kuiper. So long, sir. It's going back in. Everybody. You love your papa? <sighs> and a lot of blasted fools it takes to make an army. Wait, bye. 